Hi there! In this video I'm going to talk about the dark sister of the Phrygian skill, the dominant Phrygian skill or the Phrygian dominant skill. This skill is, has a rather sinister sound and is therefore uh, used a lot in metal, but it's also an ethnic skill. So you find this skill for instance in Spanish flamenco music or Arabian music. And the skill sounds like this. Now the Phrygian dominant skill has a lot to do with the Phrygian skill and the harmonic minor skill. Now I've made two videos about those skills. So I suggest you watch those videos if you like to submerge yourself in this subject furthermore. Now what are we going to do in this video? Well first of all we're going to build a Phrygian dominant skill and look at the structure and see how it sounds. And we're going to see what the difference is between the Phrygian dominant skill and the Phrygian skill. We're going to discover that the Phrygian dominant skill is actually a mode. And we're going to look at some nice Phrygian dominant skill patterns. And we'll see that the origin of the skill is quite surprising. And we're going to look at some real life examples of the use of the Phrygian dominant skill. And finally, we're going to see what chords we'll find in this skill and some good ways to use them. First things first, let's build the Phrygian dominant skill on the 12th note chromatic scale, starting on the root note C. We'll start with the root C, then a semitone higher, the second degree, and an augmented second higher, the third degree. Then again a semitone higher, the fourth degree, and a whole tone higher we'll find the perfect fifth degree. A semitone higher, the minor sixth degree, and a whole tone higher, the minor seventh degree. To end with a whole tone higher on the root. Now this scale is exactly the same as the Phrygian scale, only the Phrygian dominant scale is a major scale, it has a major third. And that major third interval causes a augmented second interval between the second and third note of this scale. And that augmented second interval gives this scale an unmistaken oriental and ominous character. And if you take a closer look, you also notice three half-step intervals in this scale. And that's also very characteristic for this Phrygian dominant scale. Now good to know is that the Phrygian dominant scale is actually a mode. It's the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale. Meaning that the Phrygian dominant scale starts on the fifth note of a harmonic minor scale. Now the very popular and often used E Phrygian dominant scale is the fifth mode of the A harmonic minor scale. Now the notes and the chords derived from both scales are exactly the same. Only the starting point is different, the root is different and therefore it sounds different. Now if you want to play a Phrygian dominant scale over a chord or a progression then you can utilize different patterns and each pattern has its uh, own uh, technical pros and cons of course. Uh, We've just seen that the uh, Phrygian dominant scale is the fifth mode of the harmonic minor scale, so both scales use the same notes, so also the same patterns. So if you already know some harmonic minor patterns, then you can use those two. Just start on the fifth note of that harmonic minor scale pattern and uh, you'll create a Phrygian dominant sound. Very simple. Now this pattern has three notes per string, which makes it easy on the higher positions, but a bit of a stretch on the lower frets. The next pattern is more condensed, but doesn't have the same amount of notes on each string, which makes it a bit harder to play fast. It's safe to use this in the lower positions as well as in the higher positions. The next remarkable pattern is more like a diminished arpeggio and starts on the major third of the Phrygian dominant scale. It has a very convenient and logical fingering, but the minor 6th is missing. Now like I said before, this scale is used a lot in metal music, but it's also a scale that is used in uh, ethnic musical styles. So this Phrygian dominant scale occurs in Indian, Middle Eastern, Eastern European, Central Asian and Flamenco music. The scale goes by different names, like Spanish Phrygian or Major Phrygian. And in the Middle East it's called Diaz Nahawant, 
or Yaz Makam. In Israel, it's called the Ahava Rabba, and in Indian Raga, it's known as the Hiyaz Bayraf. There are some pretty obvious examples in classical pop and rock music. A good example, and almost a cliche, is the song Malagena from Spain. <laughs> Another good example is the riff from the song Power Slave by Iron Maiden. And Richie Blackmore, the lead guitarist of Rainbow at the time, used this skill uh, for his song uh, The Gates of Babylon. What about the Jewish celebration folk song Hava Nakila? Now, other good examples you find in various songs of Indy Monstein and, for instance, in the song Home by Dream Theater. If we would harmonize the Phrygian dominant scale, we'll see these chords. On the first degree, a major chord. On the flattened second degree, a major chord. On the third degree, a diminished chord. And on the fourth degree, a minor chord. On the fifth degree, a half diminished chord. And on the sixth degree, an augmented chord. And on the seventh degree, again, a minor chord. Now, as you can see, only the first two chords are major chords, and all the others are minor or diminished. The two most common chords used in a dominant Phrygian setting are the major chords on the first and second degree. And sometimes the seventh degree is added for a bit of variation. So like in this uh, acoustic example. And like in this rock metal example. Now, of course, you can compose a total section or even a whole song in the Phrygian dominant mode, but there are uh, more advanced ways to utilize this skill. In the minor key, the major fifth degree creates a lot of tension and wants to resolve to the tonic. Now over this chord you can play a uh, Phrygian dominant skill and that will work very very well. Keep in mind though that in this particular case the Phrygian dominant skill would also be seen as the harmonic minor scale of the tonic. So A harmonic minor could be referred to as E Phrygian dominant, because E Phrygian dominant is the fifth mode of the A harmonic minor scale. Also over applied dominance, or secondary dominance if you like, we could play the Phrygian dominant scale of that particular chord. So if E7 would be the applied dominant, then we could play an E Phrygian dominant scale over that E7 chord. Uh, if you want to know more about the Applied Dominant, or you're not familiar with it, then you could watch my video all about the Applied Dominant to learn some more about this subject. Now take a look at this chord progression. E major 7, G sharp 7, C sharp minor, and A major 7. 
The G sharp 7 is the applied dominant for the C sharp minor chord. Over the G sharp 7 chord, we can use a G sharp uh, Phrygian dominant scale. If we look at the next chord progression, we see a C chord, an A7 chord, a D minor chord, and a G7 chord. The dominant A7 chord is the applied dominant for the D minor chord. So, over the A7 chord, we can play an A Phrygian dominant scale. You could see this as a D harmonic minor scale starting on the fifth note, the note A, creating an A Phrygian dominant scale. So this concludes this video, and now you know a lot more about this remarkable skill. Do have a look at my videos about the related skills, the Phrygian skill and the harmonic minor skill to get the full picture. I'll see you next time in a cute Gemplex tutorial or cute Gemplex backing track, and I'd like to say greets from the Netherlands.